and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our die set Tiny Gift Box Goat and Llama add-on. This is the latest in our critter add-ons for our tiny gift box and it's so adorable because you can create either a goat or a llama and we're going to show you how to do both in this video and create both boxes and cards with these dies. First up, we're gonna be creating the llama. Now this llama is so adorable, and one of the special things that you need to do for him is use that little die that's over there on the left. So there's this little die that almost looks like headphones. We're gonna be using that to trim off the ears, and it's gonna give it a nice clean cut so that we can add the llama style ears later on. So you just line it up right with the top of the goat's head, just almost like it looks like little headphones. We're gonna hold it in place with some low tack tape and run it through the die cut machine, and that's going to to cleanly cut off those ears and give us the head for the llama. Now the next step is to create an actual tiny gift box. So this is that original tiny gift box die and the die creates all of these score lines for you. So we're gonna fold along all of these score lines. And I love these tiny gift box to use them for a lot of different ways. One, they're really cute with little candies inside, but I also like to use them for gift certificates, especially the ones that I purchase online that I print off on my computer. I like to print them off and roll them up and put them inside the box and I can decorate it with a little critter and it's such a fun gift. So here we've put some double-sided adhesive, the quarter inch size, on each of those four tabs. And then we're just gonna lift up the pieces of the boxes, line up those edges, and create our tiny gift box. Now that we have that box assembled, we're gonna work on creating the rest of the llama. So we're adding some liquid glue to the back of the face. And you'll see there's this little rounded piece that we've cut out of black cardstock. That's going to add color to the eyes and nose and mouth, just like that. And then we're gonna add some liquid glue and layer that right behind that little tuft of hair. So you'll see there's like a little cut line and you can just tuck it right underneath and layer the face onto this cute little llama. Next, we're gonna add some liquid glue to the top and add that cute little tuft of hair. And oh my gosh, he's just so adorable. Then we're gonna start adding some cute little rosy cheeks. I always like to cut these out of ballet slippers cardstock. And then these are the little ears. And so we're gonna tuck them right into that kind of tuft of hair as if his little ears are sticking out. Now, Rebecca created this guy and she really likes to use the pink for the ears. And I like to use the kind of tan color, which is the vanilla cardstock, as his ears. So you can use either way. And we're gonna show you in a video a little bit later how to do the ears out of the different color. Now we're gonna add the cute little hooves to the bottom of the standing legs. We'll add some tape runner to the back of those and add those to the sides of the box. Then next we're going to add the little tail. You'll see it's perfectly sized to go right in the thumb notch for opening up this box. And look at this little guy. Isn't he just so cute? I love him so much. And this is the standing style llama. There is a way to make him sitting as well. And we're going to show you that with the goat. But the goat can either be standing or sitting and the llama can either be standing or sitting. Now these are all the pieces for the goat and we're going to start to layer these guys together. Now you'll see there's this little piece that has almost like these little hooves on it. That's gonna help us create the sitting goat. So you can take this and you can line it up right with the bottom of the face piece. So we're gonna line it up right at the bottom there, hold it with some low tack tape, run it through the die cut machine, and now you have these cute little paws. So you can either do the goat kind of like the way that we did the llama, or you can add the paws and have him sitting. So here's the two different face styles that you can do for the goat. So first we're gonna work on a standing goat. So we're creating a tiny gift box again by folding all the folds, adding our tape, and attaching all the sides. And then now we're gonna start to layer our pieces. And some of this is gonna be really similar to the llama. So we're going to add that little backing piece to the back of the eyes and the mouth, and we're gonna tuck it right underneath that tuft of hair. But this time we're leaving the ears as is. Next, we're gonna add that little belly line at the bottom, which I always love because it's kind of like a nice little pop of color. And we're gonna give him, of course, his goatee. He is a goat, right? <laughs> and then there you'll see that piece there, that's the horns. It has a little piece that's connecting the two horns so that it's really easy to add it to the goat. So you just add some tape runner along the very bottom and then just tuck it right behind his head. And now those horns are in perfect placement, which is really awesome. Remember those pieces that were llama ears before? Well, they double as the backing for the ears of the goat. So we're just going to go ahead and add some tape runner to the back of the ears and then layer those little pieces of pink cardstock behind. And now those little ears had that beautiful little pink on the inside. 
Next, we'll add the hooves to the bottom of the leg. So we have two of these pieces for either side of the box, and we'll just layer that hoof detail right on. And then we can flip those over and add some tape runner to the back of all of them. So we're gonna add the face on the front, and then we'll add the legs to the side of the box. And now we have our really cute standing goat. And of course, he needs a little tail, and I love that tail because it fits right in that little thumb notch, so it makes the box even easier to open. And look how cute he is. I just love his little goatee too. And of course, you can Cut, die cut these out of so many different colors since goats come in so many colors. Now for this sitting goat, we wanted to show you a little bit of a different way to use the face. So you can actually use that face backing and just put it directly behind the face instead of having that second layer. And this looks really cute too. So once again, it's just another way to get a different look out of this die set, which is really adorable. So now we've just added the backing to the eyes and nose directly onto the face. And then we're gonna layer those little hooves right on top of those paws of his, which is just, oh my gosh, look how cute that is. The other thing I like about this is you can have him hold like a little die cut heart or something like that. Now we're going to add the little horns behind him and then we're going to fill in those little pink ears again. So we're going to add the tape runner to the back of the ears and layer those pieces. And remember those were the same pieces that wore the llama ears. Now they're adding color to the goat ears which is really fun and really cute. Next, we're gonna add the little hooves onto the sitting legs. And then we're gonna also give the goat some cute little rosy cheeks. And I think this always looks adorable. It gives them a fun little cartoony look. Then we can add all of the pieces to the box. So we'll put the face on the front and then we're gonna put the legs on either side, but we're using the sitting legs. And then of course we have the cute little paws in the front. So I love that there's different ways to create this box depending on what you're looking for. And then last but not least, we're gonna add that little tail onto the back. And here you can see just how cute this little goat box is. He has his little legs on the side. It's just absolutely adorable. And then next up, we're gonna show you a comparison between the three different styles of boxes. So we have the sitting goat and the standing goat and then the llama, the two different ways of doing the face, the little goatee, there's so many cool things. There's also a really fun way to give the llama a longer neck and we're gonna be showing you that up next. So we're gonna be creating a llama card and coordinating gift box. So we're starting off with some spiffy speckles paper here. We're die cutting that with the largest of the stitched rectangles, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. We're also gonna be using that same die to cut some of our awesome watercolor wishes rainbow paper. And this paper has four different shades of yellow on it. Here you can see. So we've die cut one part of it, and then we're gonna die cut the other part of that. That's gonna give us four different shades that we're gonna be able to layer in a really cool way. So now that we have those cool stitched rectangles, we're gonna take out some different border dies to help create the scene for our llama. So this is the original stitch till side borders and we're gonna die cut that from one of the colors of these beautiful yellows. And then we're gonna take the other side of that rectangle and we're gonna die cut another one of those hillsides so that we have hillsides in two different shades. It's gonna give us a really gorgeous gradient. Then from the other one, we're gonna die cut a mountain range. So this is the stitched mountain borders. And I just love this range of colors that we're gonna get from all of these different pieces of just one pattern paper. So we're gonna add some tape runner to the back of all of these and layer them into the scene. And today we are recreating a card by Maureen. So thank you so much Maureen because this card is just way too cute. And I love how gorgeous this scene is already looking just by using all of those different shades from one piece of pattern paper. Now next up, we're gonna create a custom sentiment and we're gonna use some paper from the Into the Woods Remix Collection. There's this really cool blue paper and we're gonna be die cutting the word llama using Henry's ABCs. And we're gonna die cut that from the pattern paper and also from some white cardstock. And then we're gonna layer those on top of each other with just a little bit of an offset to give a nice bright white shadow to those cool pattern paper letters. Now, when trying to layer letters onto a card, it's sometimes really hard to get them all centered, especially with a longer phrase. So a really nice way to do that is to use a ruler that has one of those zero centering. So that's gonna give you right the center of the card. You can kind of know exactly where the center of your sentiment is and build out from that middle. So we put the A first and we're kind of building out from there. And then now we have a nice centered die cut sentiment. Now to finish the rest of this, we're going to be using this really cute stamp set, which is Llama Tell You. And we're gonna line up part of that phrase all the way underneath that die cut sentiment and then stamp that out. And so that's gonna say, Llama Tell You How Much I Like You, which is such a cute phrase. Now it's time to create the llama. So we're gonna be using our tiny gift box add-on pieces, but without the tiny gift box. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the face piece and we're gonna die cut that from some white cardstock. 
Then we're gonna take the piece that looks like headphones or earmuffs and we're gonna layer that right on top of this goat's heads. And that's going to cleanly chop off the ears so that we can do the llama style of face. Now we'll start to layer more of the face pieces. So we have the face piece there cut out of some vanilla malt cardstock, and we're going to layer some black licorice behind that to add some color to the eyes and the mouth. And then we can add some tape runner to that and then layer that right underneath that cute little kind of tuft of hair that's die cut from the die. And we're gonna layer the tuft of hair over top and this was cut from some textured dot cardstock, which is such a cute little texture to add to his little fluffy hair. Then we're gonna die cut the ears this time out of white cardstock to match his body. And we're gonna tuck those in once again into that little cut that's there on the tuft of his hair. So we'll add some tape runner to the bottom of each of those and then just tuck those right in. And you can see that llama face starting to form. Next, we're gonna still die cut the two sets of standing legs for him and the hooves. And then we're gonna die cut something a little special. So we're gonna be adding some detail to this. And Maureen was really clever and took a look through her stash of dies to find something that would work. And so what she found was some of the pieces for our build a house Christmas add-on, which has this really cute little ornament string. So we're gonna take that ornament string and then we're gonna take some ornaments from one of our outside in stitch Christmas tree dies, which is just a nice little circle. And we're gonna die cut that out of a bunch of different colors of cardstock. Then we'll take the little hooves and add them to the bottom of the legs. And then once that's all done, we're gonna layer these two pieces over each other, kind of offset a little bit to create the body of the llama without actually using the box. So here you'll see, we're gonna put some tape runner on the back of this one, and then we're just gonna layer it on top, offset just a little bit. And this technique could be used for a lot of our different critters for our tiny gift box series too. Then we're gonna take that card base that we created and we're gonna take those legs and the llama face and stack that onto the card base. So we're gonna do this by putting the legs down and then we're gonna put the llama face just right on top. And you'll see that there's a little seam kind of right at his neck and body. That's okay because that's where we're gonna add that cute little decoration to him. So we're gonna layer the ornament string on and then just trim off any of the excess. And then we can add some liquid glue behind that to layer that on. And then to give us the look of pom-poms, we're gonna be using those little ornament circles. So I love that this is such a fun way to do this. Now, in the next box we make, we're gonna use actual pom-poms and you could use the same technique here, but I wanted to show a version with die cut circles and a version with pom-poms because both look super, super cute. Next, we're gonna use the Hearts and Stars skinny tag dies, which have all the perfect sizes of hearts and stars. And we're gonna die cut a heart out of some of the barn red cardstock, and then just layer a little heart on him, which just looks so cute. Then to add the little finishing touch to this llama, we're gonna take that tail and add it right onto him. Now to help set the rest of the scene, we're gonna take the new plant a succulent dies. And these are so much fun. They're super cute to put in the little pots that they come with, but they're also great for creating a cool little background for this guy. So we're gonna die cut these out of a bunch of different colors of cardstock, and we're gonna layer these pieces into the background. So we're gonna start by layering all of the different plant to succulent pieces. There's cute little flowers that you can add to the top of the cactuses. There's kind of the little kind of almost lotus flower looking one that you can layer the different colors. We're gonna tuck them behind the llama and in front of the llama to help kind of create some cool depth. And by adding those little flowers in the different shades of pink and kind of like a hot pink, it's a raspberry color. It just looks so cute and it really ties in the colors from his little pom-pom decorations. So we're just gonna cut off the little stems at the bottom of those pieces and layer and then layer a couple more flowers and now this scene is all done so we're going to take a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter and we're going to layer the card front on top and then to add some cool details we're going to be using a white gel pen and you can see as we add those little white gel pen details, it just makes the die cuts look almost three-dimensional, especially the little pom-poms on him or the little rosy cheeks, it looks so cute. And just following the curves of the die cut and adding little white gel pen lines make them look so special and so adorable. And oh my goodness, I mean, how much fun is this card? Oh, I love it so much. Now, next up, we just had to create a coordinating gift box to go along with this card. And we're recreating a design by Yanea, and oh my goodness, is it absolutely incredible. Incredible. And we're gonna be starting off with our tiny gift box. And we're gonna start by putting some quarter inch double-sided adhesive on all four tabs on this box. And then we're gonna fold along the score lines that the die has created for us. 
Then we can peel up the liner paper on all four of those tabs and then we'll lift up those edges and line them right up and that's going to form our adorable little box. We're going to start off again by using that little headphones piece there to trim off the ears of the goat so that we have the llama style face. And then just to add a little bit of detail to the face piece, which we die cut out of white cardstock, we're gonna take some sugar cookie ink, which is a really, really light brown, well, a sugar cookie color, and we're just gonna ink blend the very bottom of this face just to add a little bit of detail. And you'll see when we put it on the box what amazing just little bit of ink can do. Oh, it looks incredible. So next up, we're gonna layer the piece behind there so that we can add our color to the eyes and the nose and mouth. Then we can take the little face piece and tuck it right underneath that little piece of hair that he has there. And you can see just how cute it looks with that little inked piece. And then for the tuft of hair on top, we use some shimmer cardstock, which looks really, really cute. It just adds some fun dimension. We're gonna die cut some rosy cheeks and layer those on. And then we're gonna tuck the little ears into the tuft of hair. We're going to be creating a standing llama, so we're gonna use the standing legs and layer those cute little hooves right at the bottom of each of those. And there's something about that little extra detail is just so sweet. And then we can layer those legs onto the sides of the box. So we're gonna layer the legs on the right and left sides of the box. And then we're gonna do something special to make the llama looks like he has a taller head. So you can do it the way we did at the beginning of the video, which is kind of the traditional way. But honestly, I think I like this way even more because he just looks so cute with the long, tall neck. So we're gonna add some tape runner, but just to the very bottom. And then we're gonna layer it on the box about halfway up. That way it's still really sturdy, but he has a longer neck and it looks really, really cute. Now next up, we're going to give him what a little fabric draping over the side. And we're gonna use some really rainbow paper. And this was an idea by Anea that was just so cute. So we're gonna just trim down a piece that has all of those colors of the rainbow on there. And then we're gonna put it over top of the box. And we're gonna use the box to help us kind of guide where it's gonna fold. So we're gonna put it over top and then just bend it right over the box. And that's gonna kind of create some little score lines for us so that we can have a piece that fits exactly on there. Next, we'll take our scissors and just trim off any of the excess. And then we're gonna work on creating some fringe, which is really gonna make it look like a little piece of fabric. And to create the fringe, we're just gonna take our scissors and cut tiny little slits on either side. And there's something about seeing this in fast motion that is so much fun. So there we've got our cute little fringe and we're gonna add some tape runner to the inside of that. And then we're just gonna layer that right on top of the box. And you can see just how that pop of color looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, similar to what we did on the card where we added the little pom-pom detail, this time we're gonna add a pom-poms for real. So we're gonna be taking some awesome twine here. And so this is some of our lawn trimmings twine. Um, and it's really great because it has this beautiful sparkle in it. And it's also made of hemp, which makes it really sturdy, which is perfect for something like this. And so we're gonna layer that piece of twine right over the seam that's between the face and the body. We're adding some liquid glue with the glue tube to the back of that twine, and then we're just gonna layer it right over that seam, and you'll see that it's just gonna make it look perfect. Then next, we're gonna add some more liquid glue, and we're just gonna take that twine all the way around the box and just adhering it slowly. So add a little bit of glue and adhere each spot to the box, and that's gonna hold it in perfect placement, and it's gonna make it look like it was tied around the box. Once this is all done, we're gonna take out some actual mini pom-poms. And you can find these in your local craft store, usually in like the kids craft section. Um, and they're really, really fun for adding to cards. They're cute like as little cotton tails for a rabbit. They're really fun at Christmas time as ornaments. So they're just a fun little thing to get and they're really inexpensive. So we have a bunch of different colors here and we're gonna add drops of liquid glue all around this twine and then we're gonna add the pom-poms to it. So it's gonna look almost like we strung the pom-poms through it, but we're just attaching everything with liquid glue. Then we'll just add a couple more palms and this adorable little gift box is all done. I mean, look how cute this guy is. I just can't take how adorable he is. It's so sweet and so adorable. And this is just such a fun gift. I love the idea of the fact that it kind of coordinates with the card. It's super, super cute. And one of the things that I love that Yainea did is that she put a little stick in there, like a little skewer. And at the top, she put someone's name. So it could be really cute as a place card or as a personalized gift too. And look how fun the card and the cute little llama are together. Now next up, Shari is gonna make a super cute goat card for us. So take it away, Shari. So I'm making a card today using the new llama and goat 
tiny gift box add-on. I'm creating a goat and I've cut the face from some speckled eggshell cardstock and I'm using some ground coffee to layer behind the eyes and the nose. I've got a piece of the top of the head cut from some storm cloud cardstock and I just used the coordinating die that trims off the ears and I'll just trim off the bottom part of the head so that I just get the tuft of hair on top. I'm also using the die that cuts the arms and I'm adding the little hooves that coordinate out of some storm cloud cardstock, just using the lines that the die creates as a guide. Now I can add the face by tucking it up underneath that hair that's on top, and then I can layer that gray over top of that. I also want to add the little beard on my goat, which I cut from that same narwhal cardstock that the top of his head is from. And then I also have the horns. Now the horns are cut from storm clouds so that they match the hooves at the bottom. We have a nice balance of those grays. I also use some ballet slipper cardstock to cut out the little cheeks. So I'm adding some cute little pink cheeks to my goat. And I cut out a second pair and I'm using those to layer behind the ears. So this will make the ears look like they have pink in the middle of them. And here is my finished little goat. Now I want a barn on my card as well, so I'm using the Build a Barn die set and I'm just going to trim off the top part of my barn. I'm making a landscape card and so that barn's a little too tall for the card layout that I have. But this will just give me a different look for the barn. So the main part of my barn is cut from barn red cardstock. The roof is black licorice. And then I cut the doors and the solid pieces that layer behind the doors, both from speckled eggshell to kind of get this really fun look of the door being all painted one color, but you can still see the detail of those trim pieces on the door. Now I did fold the doors to open, but realized that that's not what I wanted on my card. It's going to lay flat. And I also trimmed off the bottom piece so that those doors can be a little bit shorter. I'm going to add my yellow star cut from sunflower cardstock. And then I'm just going to add the doors straight down. You can see I put glue all over them because I'm just going to glue them flat down so that they do not open. And then I thought it needed a little bit of a trim. So I cut some from some craft card stock and I'm just trimming off the doors so that I just have the frame. And then I can layer this frame over top of the door I've already put on here and you get a nice wood frame look. Now to create the landscape of my card, I'm using the Simple Stitched Hillside Landscape Backdrop. I've cut that from some cilantro cardstock, and I'm just going to add some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink to the tops of the hills so I have a little variation in color. And I'll put a piece of typing paper in this bottom one to protect the top one and do the same thing. And I'm not too worried about my ink on the edges, like on the frame part, because I'm going to layer a stitch frame over this whole thing. So once I get those inks the way I like, I'm going to add some texture to those using a dark green watercolor paint, just with some splatters. And then I'll set that aside to dry. Now for the sky, I'm using some blue spiffy speckles. This piece was actually a scrap piece, so it's not quite big enough for a card front, but that's okay because the bottom's gonna get covered up by those green hills. Now I did make sure to only keep my glue around the frame in the bottom of the hill so that the top is still open for me to tuck my die cuts behind. So for right now, I just have the little goat sitting here kind of as a placeholder. And for the trees, I cut the tops from some noble fir and the trunks from some ground coffee. These tree dyes are part of that stitched hillside landscape backdrop. I have a stitched frame cut from some paper bag cardstock that I just layered over. And then now I can start to assemble my little scene. So I'm going to tuck my barn behind that top hill. I'll also add those little trees. And the reason I added my frame first is because I like that the trees and the barn just slightly overlap the frame on the sides.
And then I can add my cute little goat tucked behind that lower hillside. And now time for my sentiment. So I'm going to be splitting my sentiment into two parts. The sentiment is from the You Goat This stamp set. And I'm stamping the part that says the goat on the hills at the bottom. And then for the top piece that says hope your day is, I'm cutting it in half so I can stack my words rather than have one big long one. So once I have those where I want them, I'll just pick them up with the door of my Misty and then I can stamp them down with some black ink and then I have this really nice crisp sentiment. I did decide to add the part that says greatest of all time to the inside of the card. And now my card is all complete. I think it's really fun to use these gift box add-ons to create cards and make really fun die cut scenes. Oh my goodness, Shari, this card is so cute and I absolutely love how you added the barn in the background. And next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And first up, this one by Callie is so adorable. I love her custom sentiment with the rainbow letters and the little pom-poms too. Next up, Audrey's card is so perfect in pink and I love how she added the plant a succulent right next to the llama and looks so very cute. Elena got super creative and she turned this llama slash goat into a lamb and gave it a cute custom sentiment and I love this sweet card so much. Elise was so clever and she gave her llama box a little heart to hold and I think that makes it just so adorable. Grace's color palette and custom sentiment are so adorable. I love this card so much and I love how she used the little fluff that's kind of their hair on top underneath on the neck to add even more fluffiness to her adorable llamas. Next up, we have a really cute card by Megan. I love the sentiment. It just cracks me up and the little party on him is just perfect. Here is the card by Maureen that inspired us to make ours today. I love the beautiful little landscape she created for the llama. And then this is the box by Yanea that inspired us to make ours. I just love how she created that custom little blanket for him. And then also how she used this as a place guard by putting someone's name at the top using Henry's ABCs. These cute little goat boxes by Lynette are so sweet and I love that she has them all stacked up. It's just so fun and adorable. And then here, I love how Letitia added her llama to a pillow box cut out of some gingham paper. It's so happy and fun. And Kara was inspired by a favorite family stuffed animal to create a unicorn llama. How cute and fun is this? And I love how she made it just to look like that adorable toy. So we cannot wait to see what you do with this new tiny gift box add-on. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!